Every year in the United States, over 600,000 people die from heart disease. It is our number one killer. But today we're talking about how preventative care can protect you from becoming just another statistic. So here to help us out is medical director from the popular health app, Doctor on Demand, Dr. Tanya Elliott. Welcome. It's, with heart disease, it's good news, bad news. The bad news is it's the number one killer of men and women worldwide and in the United States. The good news is 80% is preventable. So talk about how people can do that and just about how knowing your risk factors is so key. Yeah, so you can just start with a simple screening blood test and that's particularly important if you have a family history of heart disease or high cholesterol. We actually have someone in our audience today, Rhiannon, who lived that and knows it firsthand. You told us that a blood test saved your life. Tell yes. us about that. Well, um, my father died from a heart attack when he was 51. And he had his first one when he was 36. I had a blood test done to get a life, uh, life insurance. And just out of the blue, I mean, I was in my 20s, young, healthy, fit, and my cholesterol, or my LDL was over 300. And just so people know, for reference, it really should be under 130. And if you have a family history of heart disease, many cardiologists are saying under 100. So that's a significant elevation. Right. So I found out I have a genetic disorder called familial hypercholesterolemia, or you can call it FH. That's a lot easier to say. And you're modifying and, and your number's better now? Absolutely. I increased my workout and um, did a lot better with my diet. And that's an example, I think, don't you, Dr. Tanya, of how, uh, you know, a blood test can save your life. But for the average person who finds that they have high cholesterol, talk a little bit about that test and how easy it is to get for people. It's a simple screening blood test, checking both your good cholesterol and your bad cholesterol. So if you can't get in to see your doctor, you can use Doctor On Demand, where you can connect with a board-certified physician do a video visit, they can discuss those risk factors with you, talk about ways to modify them, order the blood tests, and then come up with a comprehensive treatment plan. And then one of the other interesting things about something like Doctor On Demand is it's a video visit that you're doing from your home. So we could actually do a virtual tour with you into your kitchen and your pantry and help you identify foods that may be contributing to your high cholesterol and get you to throw them out. And people just need to understand when you talk about screening for cholesterol, that blood test, you really don't have to be fasting all the time. The fasting only affects the triglycerides, so they're important too, but you can easily get that test. Thank you so much, and thank you, Rhiannon, for sharing that. Now, Doctor On Demand was created by our executive producer, and if you're interested in learning more about the app, please visit thedoctorstv.com. Stick around, we'll be right back. <laughs>